Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft cube or a block. It's really not that hard, so um, just be real quick about it here. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do is go to Document Properties and go to Grids, and for your grid you'll want one of these axonometric grids, and select New, and up pops your uh, grid. You can close out of that. And next you want to do is grab your Bezier tool and make a, a little square here, a little skewed square. And uh, from what I've seen in Minecraft and Eden and Mooncraft, all those different kind of games, which I haven't played much, but uh, what it seems like is that all the blocks in that game are made up of 16 by 16 uh, sub blocks I guess you could call it so uh, the, I guess what we can do is we can start off by making an 8 by 8 block with these squares that I'm making so uh, I'm gonna make the left side of this block right now so um, got my square here and I'm just gonna duplicate it by pressing control D and just keep doing that until I have an 8x8 eight eight block. There I got 4 here and now I'm up to 8. And Now I'm going to grab these all and start building. There I'm almost there. Okay now I have an 8x8 eight eight section here and that's cool so uh, what you want to do now is you know everything's really pixelated in that game and I think it's kind of intentional. Um, I, I'm just going to show you real quick how to start making it. Um, just select any one of these blocks here. Actually, what I prefer to do is to go ahead and uh, select all of them so you have a base color for everything. And let's say we'll want to make something brown. So select brown for that. You'll also want to set the stroke to the same exact color by pressing shift and clicking on the color. And uh, the reason you want to do that is because of, uh, I believe it has something to do with the anti-aliasing and uh, the rendering of the objects in Inkscape. And it's, I don't think it's a problem that's just native to Inkscape. There's lots of other uh, programs like this that have issues where, uh, you know, if you're not on an exact pixel boundary, uh, you may see seams within um, uh, your, your uh, thing that you're drawing here. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll get rid of the uh, grid real quick and I'll take this and I will get rid of the stroke by pressing shift and clicking on this X and you can see there's a bunch of little seams here and we don't want that so um, I'll just press control Z to get that back and go back up and get my grid and uh, really what you want to do now that we have our uh, basically the uh, left side of our cube here um, you want to vary the different shades of uh, you know the color that you choose you know make some sort of random shape or something like that and you know just have fun with it uh, I have no idea what I'm making right here but um, We'll just say that's good for now. Um, you know, just, well, maybe I'll do a little bit more. Get some lighter shapes in here. And, uh, whoop. something like this. And make sure, make sure that you're not only filling the block, the little uh, square, but that you're also uh, uh, setting the stroke to the same color. I'm going to group this and then I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it horizontally and now we got our right side of the cube so what we have left to do would be to go ahead and make your squares up here and you want to do the same thing um, well actually you know what I'm, I'm thinking I missed a step because this is a 16 by 16 uh, block in that game so what you want to do is basically uh, take this and duplicate it three times. So there's one duplicate, duplicate it again, duplicate it again. 
and that, well, yeah, bring it down all the way, and that's good. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. Now we can group this, and then we can, well, first I guess I got to duplicate it first, and then rotate it, and then bring it over. So there we go. And then, and then what you want to do is you want to take the Bezier tool again, and go and start making squares again. It's real simple. Um, it's just really time consuming. It's it's really time consuming. I don't like it in fact. But you know, if you want to have fun with a game like this and maybe make your own stuff, yeah. You know, there you go. So now we got another eight by eight block of stuff and then you can just fill it in you know however you like so that that's kind of what you have to do um, I'm gonna show you what I've done already um, I just made what looks kinda like a water blocker I I have no idea but um, and I'm gonna go into properties here and make sure that board is behind everything because that's getting annoying I'm gonna zoom out and you can see what we are kind of doing over here. I just took that and continued it over here um, before this tutorial, actually, when I was testing this out. And you can see this whole block. It looks kind of cool. Um, get rid of the grid here. Uh, you know, and you know, it's kind of neat to mess around with this. The only other thing that I can think of that you may want to do is uh, if you want to zoom out a little bit you could actually take these and start stacking them like you were in the game so but first I gotta actually do it correctly <laughs> um, or maybe not what the hell do I know um, I see why because when I dragged this over I wasn't aligned over here okay so <clears throat> there you go and so now you can just take your little blocks and just start making stuff really not too hard so and eh, that's not quite lined up there we go so now you can start making stuff you can make your own little uh, world for Minecraft or Mooncraft, Eden, whatever you want to call it here. And uh, that's all you got to do. It's, it's pretty simple. Again, it's just really time consuming. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks.